I'm Carly Majeur and I'm an artist and art teacher in Palm Beach County, Florida. I do nautical chart paintings. So this one, it was a husband and wife that I met at one of the art shows and they have three beautiful daughters. I was expecting a mermaid piece. The daughters and the mother really like mermaids and the husband was like, nope, this is my piece. I want to do something different. And then on the way here, I had this vision of, uh, you know, an octopus attacking our house. And, it was, and we, we all kind of laughed and he's like, no, I'm serious. And so he, they sent me pictures of their house and they live on Windley Key. I decided how I wanted to place the octopus and then, you know, they kind of left it to me, which is really cool. I love when, when they're like, you know, you do your thing, but this is the idea, so. kind of like sculpture where you see different parts that are standing out or the lines and the soundings, how they fit together. The, there's different shades of blue sometimes from the coastline out and then it gets white as it gets really deep. I really try to figure out what the chart is saying with the creature, like what is going to fit in this space. And there's so many different compositional techniques. I mean, a common one would be hokusai's wave, how it does the wave this way, but you turn it upside down and you'll see the wave that way. It's kind of like a yin-yang effect. So I use that one a lot, especially with the octopus on Key Largo that I have already. That one I feel like his little rings are mimicking the islands. That was my whole goal, was to kind of make it feel like a yin yang. It's like a playful thing, and that's why I don't like to draw it out first in pencil, because I think that that takes it away from, you know, what I'm trying to do. I want it to be more direct. When it happens, it's, okay, I see this, and I'm going to put it down right away. You know, for me, that's how we interact with nature. We have all these man-made, numbers and you know titles and the, these straight lines going both ways and then there's nature that's just its own free form and then I'm putting the two together so it looks like it fits so it's kind of like how do we interact with nature and be a part of nature without you know destroying or changing or how do you just cohabitate. Thank <laughs> you.